All right, and hey there, Proxians. This is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Moon Black 2 Nuzlocke. So if you guys missed out in the last episode, basically what happened here is, is that we are finally uh, over at Himalaya City for uh, getting ourselves the last of the badges that we do need before going and heading on over to the Pokemon League. Now, before we actually go and do anything with the Himalaya City Gym, and uh, before we actually go and take care of our final and also last of our trial captains, which I believe uh, we are going to be probably uh, going to be taking care of the actual water uh, trial captain, I think, as as well too which that should be a little bit scary because i don't really know exactly what type of pokemon that she is gonna be having on her team and i know that uh i know that uh she's a female and i can't really remember exactly what her name is because it has been a little bit too long since i've uh, seen anything uh for the different trial captains for pokemon sun and moon so i can't really remember off off the top of my uh, head about what her name is but it may probably come to me i think like later on uh, down the episode here but uh also too uh for today guys uh we are going to be going and heading on over to seaside cave if i'm not mistaken that is going to be our next uh, destination cave uh, that I'm going to be doing a little bit of some battling with. Uh, just do a little bit of some on-screen grinding and whatnot. Uh, just not really do anything uh, too out of the ordinary out here. Uh, but then uh, for the next episode, I think what's going to probably happen is I think we're going to be going and actually taking care of the gym, which uh, that should be uh, pretty nice. But also too, uh, let's actually just go and do a little bit of a team recap and uh, let's see how everybody is doing right now. So let's get into it. So we got ourselves power at level 56 with playthrower Dragon Rage EQ and also Fly. Does have the expert belt there. We also do have Shadow at level 53 with Roar Crying Strength and also Wall Charge. Does have the Magnet. We also do have Vexen at level 53 with Icy Wind, Moon Blast, Sing and also Surf. We also do have Xeon at level 54 with Takedown, Air Lace, Iron Head and also X Scissor. Does have the XP share there. We also do have Rocky at level 52 with Stone Edge, Rock Slide, Howl and also Rock Climb. We also do have Kim at level 50 with Minimize, Gunk Shot, Crunch, and also Disable, and also does have DXP share, and that is basically everybody on the team. Uh, so, I believe, uh, we'll just leave the ESP share on for Kim, and I think also leave it there for, I think, Xenon as well. Well, actually, I think we'll go and take this one off. We'll take off the XP share off of Xenon. I think we'll get this one to Rocky, just so that we can kind of boost him up a little bit more, just to kind of help us out a little bit. Uh, so let's just go and take care of that quickly, and then I guess we'll just give Xenon, I guess, the, uh, the Quick Claw to kind of help us out if we can try and land out an easier type of move a little bit faster. Now, I think for TMs, didn't we get ourselves, like, Dragon Pulse or Dragon Rush or something like that? Because I wouldn't mind actually, like, adding that, uh, to Charizard if that can actually be a little bit possible. Uh, but let me just see here. We got U-Turn, Acrobatics, Flamethrower... Wild Charge, Dragon Tail. So it wasn't Dragon Rush or Dragon Pulse, but it's also Dragon Tail, which I think this is actually a little bit better. Let me just see here. Uh, so we got ourselves Pyro uh, that, that, can, that can actually learn it. So maybe Dragon Tail could do a little bit of some damage. So let's see. So Dragon Rage, uh, the attack hits the target with a shock wave of pure rage. Uh, so it actually just does 40. Uh, so I think we're just going to kind of boost that up a little bit more. So why not? Kind of help us out with our dragon type of moves so that if we ever do get to spot out another type of dragon type Pokemon, I wouldn't mind having to do a little bit of some more damage uh, if we actually do switch out with our uh, Draco plate here. But uh, let's actually go and head on over here to the center because I do want to get myself some extra uh, uh, Max Repels and other things of the ordinary there. So I wouldn't mind doing that right away. Ooh, wow, look how much money we actually have. We have 127,000 Poke Dollars. Jeez. I thought uh, for sure, like, throughout our time here, throughout this game, is that we were probably not going to be having enough money, but jeez, uh, I was thinking about that wrong. We actually do have quite a bit of money, and all thanks for those breeders and all that other stuff, and even also, too, with the offer core grinding as well, like, that really did bring out a very big help uh, throughout all of that, but Seaside Cave, we actually do have an encounter that we can actually go and grab, so is that the Legend Badge? Perhaps you might be able to find some real Legendaries with that in hand, so you should go explore around uh, and challenge the weaker Legendaries. Oh, huh, interesting. Well, thank you for the little nice tip there, but I don't think Seaside Cave doesn't really have anything that's, uh, I guess, legendary related. I don't think so, but uh, this actually took us uh, right in, uh, or yeah, that has actually uh, taken us all the way over there, right? So, I think we're all good there. But I think for right now, uh, we're just going to go and take the water route, which that is what we're going to be doing out here. And I think we actually do have uh, some battles to also go and do as well, too. So why not? I won't worry about having a Max Repel up here, in here just yet. So got ourselves a wheel we're going to start off with. I think this will be right in the, the wheelhouse for uh, Shadow out here for the time being until we start heading into uh, into the cave type of parts. 
because we got ourselves a lot of different swimmers and whatnot out here for all of this. Send out for a hydro pump. Ouch. Hey, man, you better calm down with that. Here, take a wild charge to the face. That should be an easy win right there. And since we do actually have that magnet, it's going to do a lot more damage. Ooh. Yeah, we have to be very careful with that wild charge, though. Unfortunately, I don't really have Thunder Fang, so it's going to kind of be a little bit scary. Uh, we also do have a Whale Lord. Uh, that's a little bit a little bit scary as well, too. And I think you may probably also have Hydro Pump in the process, which that would not be fun. No, we actually do have Amnesia. So I don't think Wild Charge may probably do the damage that I want it to. But with the Magnet, it should do quite a bit more, though. Gonna see. Oh, yeah. It still knocks it out. That is very handy, indeed. So let's go and take that. Ooh. Wow, that just like eats up a whole big huge chunk of my HP just right from doing all that. Well, let's just keep on heading down here. Now we haven't really ran into a Pokemon yet, but I wouldn't mind seeing that happen right now. So our route Pokemon here for this is going to be a Wingle, it looks like. Okay, uh, well unfortunately I don't think we really do need that, so I'm just going to go and run away from it. Pelipper is alright, but I but I hardly ever use a Pelipper uh, for my team, anyways. Unless if I actually did find one at like at like the very beginning of uh, of a randomizer or something, but never even get to use it at all. Uh, Start up with a love disc. That should be pretty much very simple out here. Uh, we should probably go for a Dragon Tail. I think that should be uh, quite simple. It's just only a love disc, right? So. Ooh, wow, we got that switched out right into Greninja. And also, too, it also can uh, switch around uh, with the with the Pokemon as well. Which hopefully that was the right choice. Ooh, set up for Rain Dance, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and see... Oh, Battle Bond. Oh my god, this thing actually has the Ash Greninja form. Uh, that's a little bit uh, too wild out here. Well, I think all we have to do is just kind of leave Shadow in here anyways. Well, you know what? The good thing is, is that Ash Greninja is gone. I'll take that any day. And there we go. Rocky's gone level 53. And we also got ourselves a Wish Cash. Uh, let's actually just stay on in. Um, I guess we could go and get ourselves healed up. I'm a little bit worried about what this Wish Cash has in store. I hopefully hope that's not going to... Uh, it actually has EQ. That's a little bit... That's a little bit troublesome right there. Um, we may probably have to switch on out into Kim, maybe. Or we could go into Vexen. Uh, I think maybe Kim. Yeah, let's go into Kim. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go and take some damage from the spikes, but... Aquatail, I don't think that's going to do too much. Okay, yeah, we're still in the clear on that one. Um, I guess we could go for a Gunk Shot or maybe a Crunch. I'm pretty sure Crunch is not going to do that much, but... Maybe Gunk Shot? Uh, of course. Okay, here we go. Another Gunk Shot to the face. Come on, dude. Let me hit you already. Stop avoiding the attack. Ugh. This is one pesky wish cash, dude. What the heck, man? Normally, this wish cash should not even become that much of a problem. Fine. If you want me to crunch you, I'll crunch you. Here, take that. There, now you can go and fall asleep if you want to. And hopefully you stay like that for a while, because I'm going to make sure that you go down. Alright, now you just stay asleep. Oh, it does actually have sleep talk. Or a snore, I think. That's what it is. Don't really like that. And let's just going to make sure that you get out of here, Wishcash. Thank you. Jeez. Uh, we also do have a Celio. Uh, that may be a little bit of a problem, but I think we should be somewhat okay. Uh, I don't think Celio would probably get Sheer Cold at this moment. But hopefully that does not happen, because we do not want to have a, a quick death. That would not be fun. I think I may probably have to go and buy out some uh, extra Hyper Potions and make our way back. Ooh, it does actually have Blizzard. Okay, again, it's not going to do that much because it's not uh, Ice Gen powered up. Not like the last time that we've seen somebody have that. Ooh. Yeah, that's just going to eat up all that HP right there. Uh, the Love Disc, I think we'll just stay on in. It's just a Love Disc. I don't really think it's too much of an issue. I'm going to start for a crunch out here. There we go. Nice. So we'll take it. 
And we also do have a Sea King. Uh, I guess we'll stay on in. I'm gonna go for a Wild Charge. And hopefully that can kind of help out with this. Hopefully we don't die. I think we'll still be, uh, I think we'll still be in the clear, but probably down to red. Oh no, okay, we're still good. I was a little bit nervous there. But nice, we'll take it. And now let's just go and get ourselves healed back up, because that was not fun. Jeez. I'm not even, uh, not even out of, like, Himalaya City yet, but, like, oh my god. But that was pretty nice. At least we got ourselves our, uh, Himalaya encounter. But we still actually have another route, I think, to still go by, I think. I'm not really too entirely certain. So let's just go and get everything healed up now. What the heck? What happened to that, uh... To that veteran trainer, I guess he was just there just to basically go and talk to, and then he just absolutely just went and disappeared after. <laughs> that was weird. But uh, also, too, just want to let you guys know uh, is that the Soul Lake is going to be happening on Thursday. Uh, I'm just going to kind of give you guys like little reminders here and there if you guys are interested on watching the uh, on the collab series uh, with uh, with me and Chris, of course, uh, my cage lock partner that we actually did uh, before uh, back uh, a long time ago. I think that was basically, I think, like, last year or so, or maybe, yeah, it would have been probably last year. And that was really fun, I do have to say. I, I really enjoyed that series quite a bit. Um, but, yes, we do need uh, Hyper Potions. We do need quite a bit of those. We are uh, running out pretty well uh, with those Hyper Potions. I would like to buy out a little bit of some more. Because we have enough money in the bag. Well, well, yeah, enough money in the bag for quite a while out here there we go and uh, also too I have been uh, working a little bit on my laptop uh, because I've been wanting to like really try and play some games like on my dolphin and uh, basically uh, from what I did is that I kind of uh, went on to my Nvidia settings and kind of changed out a few things uh, but unfortunately uh, my laptop just does not want to record OBS while using my uh, my GPU at all uh, for some random reason so uh, hopefully with that being said um, with my laptop I think it's now it's not gonna be running like like on a CPU anymore I think it's still gonna be using the, the CPU I guess for like uh, for like um, I guess like using like the internet and whatnot um, but I think I'm just going to use my, because like I think I programmed like my GPU to just literally run off like uh, all the uh, different games and stuff like right off uh, from there without having to uh, worry about using the CPU on the Dolphin. So hopefully that can kind of help out a little bit and not get the game like freezed up all that too much um, with like other different games. Because I have been uh, test running, um, I think, what was it? Um... It was a uh, new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii because uh, if you guys don't know, I am going to be doing another uh, type of co-op thing as well too uh, later on down the road. But I'm going to wait until uh, yeah. So let's just set up for a match repel right now uh, because like I'm just going to go and like literally wait uh, until uh, after Bowser's Inside Story is finished, and then I'm going to go and uh, literally uh, do uh, new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii and uh, actually have one of my friends uh, join up along for that for the live stream. And uh, it should be pretty nice, and that'll be really fun. So hopefully I can do that on my laptop. If not, I will probably have to bring it over to my uh, to my big guy computer over here to kind of help me out a little bit. Uh, now I could do another way, I think. Right? Well, no, I don't think so. I, I guess I have to go into uh, into Shadow. I wouldn't want to trust out this employer because it may probably have like freaking. Uh, hydro pump at some point and that would not be fun and I would not like that and then plus uh, I guess I don't really have like a comment question of the day but I know that uh, BDSP is going to be literally coming up pretty soon uh, within like the next I think like maybe two or three months or so uh, but let me know in the comments down below uh, for what type of Pokemon are you guys going to be choosing uh, for your BDSP adventure are you guys going to go for a uh, Turtwig or Piplup or even uh, Chimchar uh, let me know uh, in the comments down below because I think for me personally I think when I do my Nuzlocke uh, for BDSP I may potentially want to go and uh I want to see can I actually win this with a wild charge out here because I am because I am magnet boosted so if I have that and then also have my wild charge I think I should be able to hopefully knock out this blastoise pretty fast out here all right come on please get it out of here oh thank god Whew. that was a critical as well too thank goodness but yeah we have but also too I have to be very careful uh with uh 
Oh no, not another Greninja. Oh no, please don't tell me it's also gonna have Battle Bond as well, because that's gonna really suck. Eh. Let me just get myself all healed up here for this one. Please don't tell me that you're also gonna turn into a, a freaking Gre uh, Ash Greninja as well too, because if that's what we're gonna be seeing here. Oh god, of course you are. Great. Water Shuriken. Ouch. Uh, hopefully that doesn't do too much. Okay, it doesn't even do anything. Why am I so worried about that? Here, take this wall charge to the face and you're out of here. That's how you do it, Shadow. Just knock out any type of water type Pokemon that you see out here. And there we go. Another swimmer has been defeated. I think there's like, I think a few more left. And then we got ourselves the actual cave that's down below here. I do see that there's an item down below. Hey. When am I picking that up? Oh, we got ourselves a fighter. Oh no, please don't tell me that you're going to be a, a rotation type of battle going on, because that would not be fun. No, he actually has way more Pokemon than he actually have to. Oh yeah, this is easy enough. Oh, great. But then he also intimidate dropped me. Even when I said it was going to be easy enough. Come on, man. Let's get this Hypno Top out of here. I'm a little bit afraid of this thing's going to probably carry out like a Rocky Helmet or something, but I guess we're okay. We're good. Um, let's get ourselves a beware, that's fine. We got ourselves our expert belt out here, so that should be uh, easy enough to knock out this beware. We've done it before plenty amount of times. Pain split, well thank god that missed. Because I do not want to be using any of my uh, stuff right now. Ouch, hey. You better calm down with that thrash. Okay. I'm gonna fly up in the air. Go. Oh, thank goodness we missed out on that one. Everywhere is gone. That is how we get it done. Yeah, I don't want to be messing around with those guys. Hitmo Chan, I guess we'll probably just stay on in. Uh, now for you, I think I may probably want to heal myself up or do something else. Now I think this Hitmo Chan may probably have all the different type of punches out here, so it does have detects. Okay, I was kind of afraid that we we're gonna probably set up for a uh, for a thunder punch, of course. No, we do have a Mega Punch. Jeez, come on, man. You have to come down with all those. I don't want to be seeing no Mega Punches or Mega Kicks or anything of like the sort like that. Come on. Uh, now we got ourselves a Machamp. Uh, well, why not? We'll just fly up in the air again. Let's do it again, Pyro. Nice. Missed out the attack. And Machamp is almost gone. Oh, come on, man. More of my speed. Here, take this Flamethrower to the face. That should basically knock you out of here. So we get it done. And we also got ourselves a Hitmonlee, of course. Going out for all the different Hitmons. And let's... Ooh, he's got himself an Indoor. Okay, well... Ooh, Blaze Kick. Well, at least that's not going to really do anything. But either way, this Hitmonlee is gone, and we'll take that win right there. Nice. I wonder how uh, the Reggie Gigas event has to go on for uh, for Pokemon Black 2 White 2 because I remember doing the Reggie Gigas event before and I don't know if you actually do need to uh, bring all of your Reggies with you if I'm not mistaken or I don't know how that works but but I wouldn't mind actually doing that type of um, event at some point. Ooh, nice, got ourselves a big pearl. So I guess we got ourselves quite a bit of, uh, I guess, different episodes out here. I guess we got this episode and then... Uh, Basically got the other one right after. Because I don't know how many battles do we have to go on around in this. Oh, we actually got ourselves one more. Oh, okay. So we got ourselves a... Uh, got ourselves a fisherman down here. Okay. Ooh, a PP up. Nice. I wouldn't mind uh, giving that over to... Uh, I wouldn't mind giving that over to my... Uh, um, the, uh, the Earthquake, I think. Let's go do that. Earthquake, there you go. All good. And now we got ourselves a fisherman, or I can go and take care of the doctor. I think the better option is, is probably go and take care of the doctor first, and then worry about the, the fisherman guy after. Because you never know what you can probably expect from the uh, from the fisherman guy, because you may probably have freaking, like, Gyaradoses everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's see what you got, Mr. Doctor, dude. You got yourself two Pokemon, you got yourself a Go-Goat. Well, that's easy enough. Now, I think for me, I could just go fly to the air, or I could just, yeah, uh, no, you know what? Let's go for a flamethrower. That should be able to just hopefully go and take him out. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
a little bit nervous about that because I know that we've uh, seen Go-Go's before and given off stone edges, which that was not fun. Uh, Trevenant, we could actually just stand here as well, too. Don't think Trevenant should be that much of an issue. Oh, yeah, there you go. Trevenant's already gone and finished with, so we'll take that. And thank you. I would like to get healed up from you as well. Nice, nice. Uh, we got this fisherman. Let's go and do it. Now, also, too, I'm not going to go and really, like, uh, do all the different battles for you guys, but I'm just going to kind of just, uh, just start heading on over to, uh, over to Seaside Cave. So I'll have battles with you, uh, using my freshly caught Pokemon. Well, let's see what you have got in here so far. I mean, he probably has got himself a full six team out here. No, he's got himself a full five team, though. Tortuga. Okay, well, uh, let's just go and set up for a Moonblast. I don't know if that's going to do a lot of damage, but... Oh yeah, that just knocks it out entirely. We'll take it. Uh, Corsola, let's go and switch on now. Shall we go for this? Because I want to make sure that this Corsola goes quick and fast, and that we don't have to really worry about it all that too much. Oh yeah, Corsola's already down. Uh, well, thank God that that we don't have to worry about any type of Galarian forms, because then we don't have to see a Galarian Corsola out here. Those, because uh, those Galarian uh, Corsolas are actually somewhat pretty scary. Uh, let's go for a wild charge. There. And Frillis is down. We'll take that as well, too. Nice. And we also got some Palpitoad. Well, that shouldn't really be too much of an issue either. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's not good. Unfortunately, uh, it does not work. So I kind of have to go and suffer crunches then. Ooh, Echo Voice. Uh, okay, we're all good. Nice. Okay, we'll take one more. Flail. Uh, is that going to do a lot? Nope. But it takes care of the Palpatine though. All good. It finished with that there. And he only has one more Pokemon left. Okay, it's going to be a Golduck. Uh, let's go and suffer that Wild Charge here. And that should knock it out without any problems. Oh yeah, there you go. Golduck is gone. And then we can get ourselves all healed up, finally. Nice. Okay, was that level 52? So not too shabby there. And uh, also to uh, hopefully guys go and check out with the live stream uh, for the next Sonic Colors episode, because I believe it is going to be back-to-back. -back. Uh, but if you guys aren't able to actually make it to that one as well too, not to worry, it should also be up on the channel as well. So no have to worry about that. But here we are, Seaside Cave, it's finally here, and I guess what we'll do is worry about this for another time, so we'll kind of just split this off into two different sections. I thought we were going to probably just do this in one big huge episode, but I guess we're just going to kind of split this off, because I don't really want to make it too long for you guys, so uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and also don't forget to leave about the comment question of the day, uh, for, which, uh, for which type of starter are you guys going to be choosing uh, for the BDSP, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll uh, see you guys then, and peace.